Good morning, people. Watch Woman 65. Lisa Voice here with a quick video. I'm in between going out, doing my thing, and um, I just thought I would come on and do a quick video about how we're sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. A lot of people are doubting their salvation. Once saved, always saved. I want you to know that we are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Every born again believer is sealed until the day of redemption. We're sealed at the time of salvation with the Holy Spirit. The word sealed means to stamp, to seal, to keep sealed. Every new believer is sealed with the Holy Spirit, making us eternally secure and preserved in God's protective hands. The Holy Spirit testifies with our spirit that we are saved. Romans 8, 16, the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Amen. We are sealed by God the Father when we get saved. The moment that we believed, the moment that we believe, we are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. John 6, 27, labor not for the meat which perish, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father sealed. Notice the words, him hath God the Father sealed. I got my notes up here and I'm reading them too. God the Father has sealed us until the day of redemption. God the Father has sealed us until the day of redemption. Every believer is sealed with the Holy Spirit at the time of salvation, safe and secure in the loving hands of the Heavenly Father. There is no turning back. There is no no. Wishy-washy, there is no turning back. There is no you can lose your salvation. There is no you can lose anything. We are sealed. In the view of the plain teaching of the scriptures, how ridiculous it is for anyone to question the internal security of a believer. We are sealed by God's Holy Spirit, the spirit of promise, the moment we place our faith in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins. Period. We cannot be plucked out of the Father's hands under no circumstances. There is no amount of sin, there is no amount of backsliding that can pluck you out of the Father's hands. We need to learn to rest in the grace of God. This is one thing that the works-based people don't have in common with us. Besides wanting to knock us down every minute they get, they don't understand. This is why they rail against us. They don't understand the simplicity of Christ Jesus. Therefore, they come at us saying that we have a license to sin, saying that we have this and have that, and that we're going to hell. That couldn't be further from the truth. They rail against us because they don't know how to rest in the grace of God. They rail against us because they want what we have in Christ. And they're jealous. It's a spirit of pride with them, and it's a spirit of jealousy. They can have the same thing. If they take, and the scales will come off of their eyes, and they can have the same thing. But they rather rail against us and tell us that we're wrong. If you notice, most works-based people who teach a false doctrine, like you can lose your salvation, they're very angry. They're very angry and they're very bitter because they, it's a power struggle. They want what we have, but yet they don't know how to get it. They take away the simplicity of Christ that we have and they want us to be like them. When in reality, deep down inside, they want what we have.
Those critics who reject the Bible doctrine of eternal security of the believer is calling God a liar. And like I said before, they trampled the blood of Jesus all over their feet. God's promises, God promises eternal life to anyone who acknowledges their guilt of sin and come to the Lord Jesus Christ for forgiveness. God then seals that person with the Holy Spirit of promise. The Holy Spirit who lives within, uh, with, within the body of every believer testifies with our spirit that we are the children of God, Romans 8, 16. No amount of sin, no backsliding, nor anything can cause us to lose our salvation, period. Salvation is receiving, not giving. Our part is only to believe. Like I've said in the past few days, our part is to only believe. God does the rest. God gives us the Holy Spirit of promise the moment we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord. And the Holy Spirit witnesses with our spirit that we are God's child. If salvation can be lost and then gained and then lost again and then gained, then salvation would not be a matter of God keeping his promises, nor would it be a matter of grace, but rather of how well we're doing in the Christian life, which is self-righteousness. We don't come to God with self-righteousness. Our self-righteousness is as filthy rags. Salvation cannot be lost because God has promised eternal life to all those who believe, believe. Ephesians 4.30, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby we are sealed until the day of redemption. The Bible teaches that the believer is sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Jesus promised that the Holy Spirit would come once he was departed from the earth. John 14.26, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Jesus promised the Holy Spirit will come, and so it is. This is why the Bible refers to the Holy Ghost as the spirit of promise, that God keeps his promises. This is why we're encouraged in Romans 10, 11, for the scripture saith, whoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Many people misinterpret the scripture to mean that one who is embarrassed of Christ is not saved. I've heard that growing up in the Pentecostal church. That is not what that verse means at all. Look at the Apostle Peter who cursed the name of Jesus and denied any affiliation with the Savior, yet later wept bitterly of sorrow and got it right with God. Romans 10, 11 means that Jesus won't fail anyone who believes on him. This is another wonderful scripture that exposes the heresy that salvation can be lost. Salvation cannot be lost at all. Like I said, everybody wants to be right, but only one of us is scriptural. And they're not. Every believer is given the Holy Spirit of God at the time of salvation, which God sealed his, his seal, his seal upon us. Our salvation is secure in the promises of God. Let me explain something to you, and I'm going to tell you this. Quit listening to these channels that tell you that you can lose your salvation, that put fear in you, that tell you that uh, it takes this and this to work for your salvation, and it takes this and that to maintain your salvation. Those channels are causing nothing but confusion in the Christian life. Stay away from them. I don't care who they are. Stay away from them. If they're not teaching you, if they're not showing you through scripture that you 
will never, ever lose your salvation. If they're not teaching you grace, don't listen to them. Because once that spirit of confusion gets into your mind, it's hard to break away from it. Stay on the grace channels. Stay on the channels that teach you once saved, always saved. Everybody wants to be right, but only one of us is scriptural. They're not. I wanted to let you know that. And I also wanted to let you know that I am praying for the new, all of you every day, especially the new subscribers who have subscribed to this channel. It's only by the grace of God that this channel has gotten where it is. I dedicate this channel to the Lord. I want you all to know that you are prayed for every day. Be careful Christmas shopping or whatever you're doing today. I'm personally praying for the rapture. That's what I'm praying for. I'm praying for something to happen. But in the meantime, we occupy and redeem. So be careful shopping. Uh, be careful with traffic and uh, have a blessed day.